Well, welcome everyone to today's session about demystifying the navigation block with Bud Kraus. Um, I am going to go ahead and hand it over to him. Okay, Courtney, thank you very much. And I want to thank the uh, Learn WordPress team for letting me present this. And let me turn on my, um, let me see if I can get this cook in here. And you tell me if I'm, if I got it right. How are we doing? Can we see everything? Well, yet. Yeah, just give me one second yes. over here and we'll get started. <laughs> I want to hide something. So let me hide. Um, uh, um, yeah, here we go. Okay. I think that's good. And let me just do this over here. Whoops. We don't need to see that. Um, and just give me another minute or two of some housekeeping so I can get started and nah, come back here. <laughs> and uh, here we go. Okay, uh, you don't need to see me anymore. That's enough of me. All right. Hi, everybody. My name is Bud Kraus. Uh, I'm talking to you today from beautiful Nutley, New Jersey, 12 miles west of New York City. Uh, where the weather is 84 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's a pretty good day. It's uh, not very humid, and it's sort of a nice typical summer day here. So the aim here is to demystify the navigation block. Uh, do a little introduction first, and then we'll really get into it. So yes, that's me, and I promise you won't see any more pictures of me today. And why am I seeing this? Let me get this out of the way here. Okay. And I got all kinds of UI in the way, so just give me another section over okay and we just want to get this out of the way all right uh, see if i can do this now and uh i am principally a wordpress i like to say that i create wordpress content for wordpress businesses these days so that's videos training materials blog posts this would be for web hosts for plugins for themes for wordpress services anything to do with wordpress i'm ready to do content for those businesses. And yes, I am an instructor. So I do teach WordPress mostly online these days, but I used to actually teach it in something called a school. <laughs> they don't have those anymore, I guess. And then I'm also a reluctant site developer. That is, you really have to twist my arm to get me to make a website. It's not really what I, I like to do, but I certainly have made a few. Um, okay. And let's see. Here we go. So we're going to do a little survey to start us off. I just want to get a little feeling for who's here and what you know. So number one, oh, by the way, before I continue, some of you know this, but maybe you don't. I'm visually impaired. So sometimes it takes me a little longer to read something than you know you might wonder what's going on here. So number one, uh, I use the navigation block and I like it. Number two, um, I'm using it, but boy, it confuses me. Number three, I'm uh, I'm thinking of using it. And number four, give me that old time classic menu, the way we used to have it. Uh, I mean, in fact, we actually still do. Um, but I want you to go into chat and give me your reply, please, if you don't mind. And Courtney will do a quick tabulation as to what people are thinking when when we think about the navigation block. Mm -hmm. So so far we have three. Folks that chose four. Ah, two, okay. Three. So far, 13 people that chose number three. I'm thinking of using it. I guess that's why you're here, right? But you know, there might be some <laughs> number twos and there might even be a one, a number one. Mm -hmm. Any more seven coming two, in? Wow. Yeah. Seven twos. Seven number twos. Uh, yeah, I, I have a one yeah. I have one person that says 1.5. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a good answer. Not allowed, but okay. <laughs> and let's see. One, two, three, four. Four number ones. Four number ones. Okay. Yep. Um, so that kind of gives me an idea. I, I'd have to say I'm somewhat in the... Uh, two stage, believe it or not. Um, and, you know, whatever. Okay, so let's go. I know you're saying, really? You're number two? This is kind of scary. Um, all right. 
So what exactly are we going to cover today and what are we not going to cover today? And let's um, let me just say real quickly, we are absolutely going to delve into the navigation block. I'm going to do a demonstration. So don't worry, this is not just going to be a PowerPoint demonstration. What we're not going to do, though, is I'm not going to talk about other kinds of navigation, meaning like sidebar navigations where you put in a list of your categories and things like that. I am talking about the main menu navigation for your site that you normally find in a header. You could even find in footers, too. And I don't know why this isn't working the way I want it to. OK, uh, what happened here? All right. Um, now, where can you use the navigation block? The truth of the matter is it doesn't really matter if you're using a well, it does actually, but you can use it in a classic theme and you can use it in a block theme. And if you don't know the difference between the two, the, I'll tell you right now, the classic a classic theme is what you're used to. And you could use this with a classic editor, or you could use it with Gutenberg and uh, or the Gutenberg block editor. And this is the kind of theme that you can only use blocks within the page content or post content of your site. So you can't use blocks in the header, the footer, the sidebar, the repeating content or re repeating areas of your site. You can't do that with blocks in a classic theme. In a block theme, you can use and you do use Gutenberg blocks throughout the entire site. So in the header, footer, everything, sidebars, everything in a block theme is built with using uh, is use is with using um, blocks. And for this demonstration, well, you'll see I'm going to use a block theme. We'll get to that in a second. Bud, can um, I interrupt you for a second? Sure. Yes. Uh, we have an ask from um, the attendees if you can turn on your video. So um, <laughs> for folks that need to lip read or visually connect oh, with you, can, okay. can do that. All right, right, right. How's that? Yeah. Okay, sorry. Does that look okay, everyone? No worries. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so if we can do it that way and people can see me and they're better off that way, why not? Okay, so how the navigation block fits into the big picture. Well, navigation, so... And I'm also going to do a little more about this in a second or two, but we have templates and in a block theme, a template. So it's, you'll have one for every page that you see, whether it's a page or a post or an archive page, there's always one and only one template that controls or sets the design of that particular page. OK, and within a template, we could have template parts. Well, like a header or a footer or something else, something that could repeat a part. And we'll see that in a few minutes too. And in within a template part or a or an example of a template part would be a header or a footer. And then within the header, we have the navigation block. So there's sort of a organizing principle behind all, how all of this works. And I just wanted you to see how this all fits together. Okay, now the navigation block, as we'll see, has some of its own special, like in essence, dedicated blocks that go with it. And you can see there's the navigation block, there's the page list, which I'll show you in a second, and page links too. There's other blocks, like these, I call these associated blocks that are connected to the navigation block, such as setting sub menus and custom links and category links. And we'll delve into all this in a second. I'm just setting this all up for you. And then additional navigation block. So we don't just have to put links now within the navigation block. We could put in a site logo or we could put in a social links or we could put in a search tool and we'll get to that too. Okay, now one thing that I'd like you to know is that although the navigation block has come a long way, it is probably the most complex block in the Gutenberg universe, complex in terms of its development, complex in terms of its UI. And it's no wonder that I and other people stumble on it, and I probably will today, because it has some complexity. And, and although I have seen its development from the very beginning, which started, I don't know, a couple of years ago, it has come a long way, but yes, it still needs work. Okay, so let's let me stop talking. Well, I can't really stop talking, but let me do a little demonstrating. So let's clear this out here. And let me just get this out of the way again. 
So let's give me a second here and we'll do this. Um, okay, and we'll get rid of that and we'll go to here and we don't need that. And let's take a look at, now I'm gonna see if I can do this in full screen because it'll look a little bit better. So let's do full screen. Okay. And so for this demonstration, I want you to know that I'm using WordPress 6.2, that is the current version. Now, I will also make reference to, and time permitting, show you a little bit about WordPress 6.3, which will be released on August 8th, okay? And we'll have some changes and some refinements and so forth. And basically the finishing up of what they call phase two, which is the development of the site editor, something that we'll be absolutely looking at today. So we've got the theme that I'm gonna use is 2023. It's the stock baseline WordPress theme. And it's just really good for demonstration and for production as well. And also I want you to see that there are no plugins. So I'm not hiding anything. I'm not trying to do anything. I'm just working with the theme. So we get a feeling of what does this thing do without tricking it up with a plugin or different kind of theme, or whatever. This is a real kind of default understanding of how the navigation block works. And just for show, oops, I don't want, again, I just clicked on something that I don't want. Um, just for show, hmm, I better... Just give me a second here. No, that's not working. I better go back to the non full screen because that's not going to work for me today. Okay. Let's go over here. Okay. So here's what our website looks like now. And you can see it does not have a navigation because we're going to build it. And this site has, well, I'll show you right now. So let's go into here. It has posts, okay, just your garden variety posts. And I'm also using categories too. So I've already assigned categories to one category to every single post. And I also have pages, okay. And boy, oh boy, let's get this out of the way. Um, and I also have these pages over here so we can do some work with the navigation. And let's just jump right into it. So here we are, appearance and editor. Okay, and this is that full site editor, or they just call it the site editor now. And let's just break this down as follows. Now, there are two sections in the site editor. There's the template section, and then there's template parts. Let's just take a quick look at templates. And you can see right over here for different kinds of content, there is a template. So for example, let's just click on page. So this is, we're not gonna spend too much time with this, but this would be the page template. And of course, a page template here is really where you do your work to set the mold, if you will, for a page. Or maybe it would be for a 404 error page, and archive page and so forth. You see them all over here. In fact, better way to see them is if I go over here, they're all over here, okay? And these are the templates that come with the 2023 theme and you can add templates, but that's another day, okay? That's another demonstration. We'll stay away from that, but you can create your own templates too. What we're gonna focus a little more on is we go into template parts and you can see the template parts are arranged like over here. And I wanna just drill into header, okay? And I am gonna create a header that will be attached to, in, in essence, every template in my site, okay? And so remember, you know, we had template, template parts, header, and navigation block, sort of one block fitting or one concept fitting into another. And over here in header, I'm going to click on this over here or here, it doesn't really matter. We're going to have the same result. And now I can begin to work on the header. So it would make sense to have the navigation block inside the header. Now, again, you can use this block anywhere in the site and you could use it on a page, although it doesn't really make any sense just to put it in within the content of a page. What you want is in a header so that it'll apply across the entire site. And let's take a look at this. So right now, uh, it now I should tell you before I go any further, if you're using this block for the first time, let's say you do a fresh install of 2023, I think 
what 2023 does, as well as other themes, it'll pre-populate your menu. So that's very possible that you'll see something totally different. You'll see like all your links will be like listed over here, okay? That's possible. You don't have to worry about that. You could start from scratch, which is what I want to do. And I want to do this by, let's just open up list view. And list view has this group block, which I don't want this for this demonstration. So I'm just going to kill this. All right. We're going to remove this. And then I'm going to open this up again. And right over here, I'm going to type in the word or just type in slash. And it's going to be NAV for navigation. Of course, I could have used the inserter as well right over here, but it's just a lot easier just to type that slash in and look for the block that you're working with. And of course, it is the navigation. And there's a whole slew of settings that we're going to look at in a bit once we start building our, our menu out. Now, there's a couple of ways to do this. Remember, the navigation block is a lot like the group block in that it just holds other blocks. It doesn't really do much, and those blocks being links or a search tool or a site logo or something like that. It holds other blocks. So that's really its purpose is to hold all this stuff together. And you can get started with your links, building your links within the navigation. There's a couple of ways to do that. This is one of the things that confuses people about using the navigation block is that there's sometimes not one way to do something, not two ways to do something, but three ways to do something. I, I don't, I didn't find anything that you, there were four ways to do something. But um, so no wonder people like me get confused using this because like, whoa, there's so many choices. How do I, whoa, you know, how do I figure this out? So, you know, if you're a little confused sometimes about how this works, well, I'm in your, I, you have company. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with over here. Now you, you can start this way and I'm going to add a block. Okay. And the block I'm going to add is called page list. Let me just see if I have it or here. I don't. Page link and page list are not the same thing. So page list. Oops. Let me, I guess spelling counts, huh? Let me see. Oops, not page lost. List. And here it is over here, page list. And what's kind of cool about this is that all the pages of my site, not blog posts or anything else, but just pages, remember page list, will automatically be pre-populated over here into my navigation. And you can see something, here I am in that navigation block, and you can see something that looks like the list view. So this is kind of confusing, I think, because here's list view over here, and here's list view over here. All right, so you have page, and you notice like, wait, whoa, 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 these are all locked. What the heck does that mean? Well, don't panic. Now, if it's locked, that does mean you can't move anything. All right, so, you know, and I think WordPress just takes a guess or the theme just takes a guess as to what order these should be in, but you can change this and we'll do this right now. What we're gonna do is we'll close up this. We don't really need that. And we will go down to, I'm trying to remember where it is. Yeah, we will go into page list. I'm going to click on that. Notice this just changed to page list. Now, this is a little bit different user interface that you're used to. You're not used to clicking on something over here on the right-hand side and taking you to another block, but that's exactly what just happened. And I'm going to click on the word edit, and now you'll see I can now move these blocks around. I'll just flip this out again here. And I took away all the blocks or all the locks. And if I want to move these, it's pretty simple to do. I can drag and drop this into place. So for example, if I wanted to move this down over here, I could do it that way. Okay. Another way I could do it over here. So I could change the order of these. I could do this over here by, let's go back to the navigation and I could drag and drop it this way too. Notice too, I can, you know, change the labels over here. So I don't have to stay with the, the, the title of the page. I can just change it right over here. You are familiar with that. If you've used the classic menu, which most people have, you could always change the label for the link. If I go back to over here, let's see what we have. Yeah, so I can, you know, drag and drop and change these positions. I also can do this over here, which is, to, uh, I could add a link 
uh, or I, I'm sorry, I could add a sublink, which we'll get to, or I can remove the link altogether. So this is sort of, I guess the best way to describe this over here is sort of a truncated user interface of the list view itself. And if you click on it, you can do something. But what about another way to change? Yes, there's another way to change the order here. And that is I can click on, let's say the navigation. No, I don't want to do this over. Well, uh, I can do this over here. So now I've clicked on to an actual page link. And you can see this over here, page link over here. And I can move it this way. So here's another way to do So this is the page link toolbar. Notice that page link is within the navigation block itself. That's what this indicates over here. And you can also make changes to, if you click on this and you want to make a change, for example, you needed to change the link um, or you needed to change anything. Well, here's your edit button. So you can change the URL if you wanted to do that as well. And you can, again, change the, the label. So yes, I don't blame you. Whoa, <laughs> there's like two or three ways to do the same thing, right? Right. And it's, you know, how you want to work with this is, you know, your, that's, of course, your workflow is your workflow. Um, now, I do want to take another look um, actually at a different way of creating the menu. So what happens if you say, I don't want to start with how I started, how Bud started with using that page list block. I just wanted to start from total scratch. Can I do that? Yes. And what we're going to do, we're going to go over here and we're going to select all of these blocks, okay? And we're going to delete them all and we're going to remove. And now we can start from scratch. Now, I'm really going to start from scratch. I'm going to delete this too. And this time, I'm going to say, let's start, let's get rid of this, okay? So let's start with a cover block. So we're really going to make a, you know, a better, we're going to make a good header here, or what I think is pretty good. So we'll start with the cover block and right over here, okay? And we'll put in a cover block background image. I'm going to go over here. I went to Italy last year so I could take pictures for this very day, okay? That's the only reason why I went. And uh, so I, I, I'll take a picture from here, okay? And then I am going to select over here the cover block. Well, let's make sure I'm in the cover block. It would seem like I am right now, okay? Again, I wanna get rid of list view. And we'll make some changes over here. Let's have a fixed background. So that's what I'd like. And I also would like to have in the style area over here, I wanna change that overlay to make it a little bit lighter, okay? And I would just like to put in over here, um, just the words, um, okay? And, oops, not okay. <laughs> um, why am I oh I know why hold on we'll get this straightened out here okay and uh, <laughs> I'm two for two <laughs> okay and I think it's a little better and we'll just leave it right over here and then on top of this so that's my cover block with yeah, I really should probably change this over here to transform this to a heading. And we'll make that an H1. Okay. And we'll just leave it right like that. Now, on top of this, I want to insert my navigation block. So, in fact, I don't really want to put it on top of this over here. This is a whole, uh, what I'm really working on again is the header. And you can just see over here, it says header. Remember, I clicked on the header to start. So, I want to add right in this area over here, I want to add the navigation. So for that, let's use the list over here. And so right above the cover block, I'm going to insert before. Let's go over here. And we'll put in the navigation. Okay. So now, now I could put the navigation on top of the 
cover block if I wanted, but I'm not going to do it that way. I'm just going to do it right over here. And let's get out of here. And you'll see I've got something started over here. Not really. I'm going to put in my links right over here. So we, before the first example, I showed you how to add your links to start with. Remember, I went over here, clicked on right over here and started, you know, page. I use those that page link block. This time, I'm going to add them in one at a time. So home. Okay. The next one I want is contact. And you notice when it says contact right over here, it says page. So it tells you the type of content that you're working with. It might be a category. It might be a custom link. It might be a blog post. But I don't want any of those. I just want pages. IT, I, and itinerary, okay. And then the last one I want to add is blog, okay. You have a question, bud. Okay. Um, oh, that's right. We do, um, we do questions. That's right. <laughs> okay. Just one so far from Michelle. Um, can you get rid of the space between that nav block and your cover image? No. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I, I think what you're talking about is this space over here. It's a function of the theme itself. Now, could you do it with custom code? The answer is, yeah, you could do it with CSS, okay? But I'm not gonna do that for today. Uh, and well, let's take a look at how this all shakes out in a few minutes, how, and how it's gonna look. So I'll address that, I think, when we see it a little better, when you know I actually show it to you. Um, okay, so, so we have blog over here, and I am gonna just save this. I don't know why this is. This is not my day for uh, UI popping up, Zoom UI popping up all over the place on my screen. I'm going to save this and let's save this over here. You got to save it twice. When you're dealing with templates and template parts, there's a two save step operation. Uh, let's have a look now at what it's going to look like. All right. So we now have, before we just had home, and we're starting to have something that's going to look like the navigation. All right, and if I click on, let's just see anything over here, contact, let's look at blog, and here's my blog, and oh, you say like, well, you know, you don't want this. Well, this is something in the template that I think I'm going to address in a minute or two, so hang on to that one, and let's just go back to home. Okay, and I want to work on this a little bit more. More specifically, I want to work on the navigation, and I want to look at some of the options I have in the nav navigation toolbar. Now, this has been changed. This used to be a lot more options and they've really pushed them all into over here. So that's where if you've been using this a little while or confused, they stuffed a whole lot of these options over here on the right hand side uh, in the navigation settings. There's really not much left. What they really have left to do is to, let's say, justify in the center. OK, so that's really about it. And the usual three dot options that you get in any toolbar. Now I'm gonna do a little more work though. I wanna style it. Yes, I'm gonna give it a try. So again, here's the navigation settings. You have three main panels. One is that list view that we talked about earlier. Now I'm gonna take a look at over here, some of the settings settings, if there's such a thing. And you can see here's the orientation, just so, or the justification. So again, it was just, you know, we had it in the toolbar and now you have it over here. And then this one too is kind of interesting. You can also orient your um, your list or your navigation vertically. Well, I don't want it. I want horizontal. Um, we we'll skip down to over here. When it comes to design, let's say you want, now, do you want uh, the mobile hamburger icon or the mobile icon um, to appear Let's say what well, you'll see in a second, if I just open up this. Okay, so here you see it over here. Or do you never want it to show? Okay, no matter what um, screen resolution or what device the design is in. Or do you always want it to show, which is kind of like what everybody's doing these days, or it's a very typical um, design feature I see now, no matter what site it is, you get the hamburger menu. I think it's kind of an interesting approach to design. Anyway, I'm going to leave it over here, the default, which is in mobile, just like that. Let me get rid of this over here. And then you could also change, if I click on this over here, 
you can change the style of the icon. So I went two or three um, lines for the mobile or for the, yeah, for the hey, hamburger icon. We have icon. Uh, a question. Okay, you don't like my, you don't like the hamburger icon, is that it? <laughs> okay. Uh, we have a quest, or question uh, slash comment from Jean. Um, okay. If you put the navigation and cover in a group mm -hmm. and have block spacing as zero, right. would that work? Yeah, um, not, not for this. Well, let me just show you something. Oh. <laughs> so you're talking about, let's just do, let's just save this. Okay. And yeah, Jean said, not sure if the two different blocks can be set to have say, margin zero. All right. Well, that's, yeah, that's, go ahead. Say, ask that question again, and <laughs> I'll give you my quickie answer without doing it. Yeah. If you put yeah, the navigation ahead. and cover block, or the, the navigation it's, and cover in a group, Right. And have the block spacing zero, would that work? Uh, I don't know, but that's a good approach, okay. a good thing to try. Maybe we'll get a chance to try it. I don't, I'm probably going to run out of time, but mm -hmm. that is something you can you can definitely try. I don't know the answer to that question. Okay, I'm sorry. No, um, no worries. But if we get a chance, we'll have a look. Um, yeah, we have uh, one more question. Okay. <laughs> Or actually, we have two. Um, can you put one block on top of another? Like, can the nav be positioned in the middle or top of the cover image? Well, sure. I'll do that one real quick. Okay. So, for example, uh, if I want the navigation block to be, let's say, inside the cover block, like so. Let's see if we can get that to to work. Now, uh, eh, it should work. See, sometimes this thing could be a little stubborn. Let's let's close this up over here and let's try it now this way. Oh, I know what I want to do. Let's try this. Okay. All right. Okay, so now you can see it's below. Okay, and the answer to the question is, I guess, I guess the question is, can you put the navigation block on top of the cover block? That's the beauty of the cover block is that you can put all kinds of stuff on top of what is a background image, or it could be a video too. So I hope that kind of helps answer the question. Yes? I think so. Um, okay. Yeah, let us know if we didn't answer the question. But, uh, and the last question is, can we change the background color of the navigation bar or of yes. the individual links? Okay, okay. All right. You're getting way too far, you know, come on. Did you read all my <laughs> notes here? Is that somebody got a hold of all my show notes? Okay. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to undo that. And um, here we go. So the answer to that question is what I'm about to do, which is I'm going to take this out and let's take a look at styling options here. So here we are in the navigation. Yes, I want to make sure. Um, settings over here, navigation. And over here, since we've already explored these two, let's take a look at the styling options over here. And you can see, yes, you can set, let's do the background color first. And we'll use something kind of funky, I guess. So at least it shows up, all right? And, uh, and then we will use a little text color over here. Let's say we would do, okay, not a great, color contrast, but you get the idea that you can do it. Now, let's have a look at where we are. And in fact, one other thing I want to do is as long as we're dealing with style, we can go down over here and let's just make this for, because I like things large. Okay. And let's just save this. All right. And we'll go over here and take a look. And all right. So you see, you still have the space over here. And I think somebody was asking about that question. Now, I don't know the answer to the question whether or not, maybe we'll get a chance. I don't know whether if you put through the whole thing into a group lock, would this space go away? I'm not sure, but we can try that later on. So hold that thought. And what do, how are we doing on time, Courtney? We have about 18 minutes to the hour. Okay. All right. So, uh, <clears throat> so yeah, I usually go a little bit long winded, but we'll get there. All right. So oops, let's go back to here. And, um, now I do want to do, um, <clears throat> I want to add, so I said there's more to just adding links, uh, but before I get to that, I want to show you, you could add sublinks, all right? So, you know, a lot of times there are um, obviously submenus. So I'm going to click on where I want to add the sublink and you could see, yes, I'm in the P 
page link over here. And what I want to do right over here, this is the sub link logo. So I click on that. And now you can see I'm in the sub link and where it says add a link, I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to say Arlene because she's a category. So not Arlene over here, but this Arlene over here. Let me see, where is my Arlene? Right over here. Okay. So I want to use categories now as my links. And I'm also going to add another one. And it's a little tricky to see, but there's a little plus sign over here that you can add. Is there another way to do it? Yeah, there's two other ways to do it, but I think this is the fastest way to do it. And then I'm going to do scenes, right? And that's a category. Okay. And one more. And come on, how could you not have food when you think about Italy, right? I mean, no such thing as a bad meal. And again, it tells me, oh, I don't want to post. I don't want food one, food two. I just want food, the category. All right. So I want to make sure I have the right link to put in and it's category. And you can actually change if you want different backgrounds over here for the sub menu and the sub menu links. You can do it differently. Um, and then I'm going to. OK, and now we'll just take a look over here. We're going to refresh and. And you can see here's my sub link. So if I click over here, I will get category Arlene. Okay, so you get the idea. So for all those posts that has the category Arlene, she has her own archive. Okay, now I said that you can add just more than just links into the navigation. And so for that, let's find where the navigation is. Okay, we're right over here where we should be, the navigation, fine. And I'm going to add it just by now. I could add it over here. Okay. I could say, because these are all, this little button here is going to give you, and you can now see to look at the blog, the way that's set up. Same thing over here. I'm, I'm, I'm interrupting what I was going to say. So if you're wondering what's going on here. So right over here, you can see the, right over here, you have the three links over here. There they are. Okay. And you can see these are category, different little icon here for categories. Okay. Now I wanted to add new or something that's other than a link. And the one I'm going to pick is uh, I'm only going to pick, there's only a couple. You could add a uh, site logo, you could add um, search and social icons. And I'm only going to do social, I'm sorry, I'm only going to do search. So let's go back to here and I'm in the navigation and I'm going to put it right over here. And you can see down over here, you could see, I don't know why they say transform. It doesn't make any sense to me, but you could add the search block, okay? And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Well, that's kind of nice. Now, I know it looks kind of weird. I'm gonna save it and we'll just take a look over here. And, okay, so yes, it's not a thing of beauty. Okay, I get it. But <laughs> you can see, you can um, at least have a search tool now built into your navigation, as well as, as long as I'm here, let's just do this over here. Uh, I want to add, no, that's not the way to do it. Right over here, it's the way to add, it's a way to add. I'm gonna do, do a site, uh, let's do site logo. And now I this is something I picked out earlier and uh, I'm going to not put it over here, I'm gonna move it. So let's just move it over here real quick or as quick as I can. Uh, and, and yes, you can change it. This just came from earlier. One of the things that you'll notice when you're working with a navigation block is very persistent. That is, if you've done something in the past, WordPress will remember what you did and use that as a basis to start what you want to start. And then of course you can change it. So by changing it, you would just click on replace and find a new image for it. So I'll leave it like that. Okay. And if you notice to look at this, you get a little, <laughs> your little icon or your little site logo goes up over here. Now, one real important thing. And that is if I go over to the navigation, let's see, let's go over here and let's go into navigation. Okay. And I'm going to click out of here. Now look at this over here. So I'm in the list view, or I'm in the set. I'm in this list section over here, navigation. If I click on these three buttons over here, these are navigations that I've already made from previous, um, you know, 
exercises. Now, one thing I've learned is that although you can clear all the contents out of your navigation, you can't get rid of these. OK, yes, you can in WordPress 6.3, but at WordPress 6.2, which is where I am, you cannot. And if I am wrong, please, somebody tell me you're wrong <laughs> because I'd like to know how do you get rid of them? What you can do now, this is kind of cool over here. Notice it says import. Where is it over here? Uh, import from a classic uh, theme. So I was playing around earlier with a classic theme and I created a menu inside of the classic theme like, you know, we used to be able to do. So if you did create a menu, let's say you were moving from a classic theme to a block theme, here's a way to import that menu in, into the navigation block. So that's kind of interesting. I didn't try it, but that's what it's saying. And if I want to create a new menu or new navigation, I would just click on over here and I could start all over again, okay? Which I don't really want to do, but look at this. I click on, so you can see now there's four. This is a new navigation. You So a drawback of this, which is going to be resolved in 6.3 is you can't rename these, you can't duplicate them, and you can't delete them. Oh, but that's why we have WordPress 6.3 because all of that is addressed in the coming version of WordPress 6.3. Now, what else do I want to show you before I start wrapping things up or show you some of 6.3? Uh, I actually have to look at my notes for a second. And while I'm doing that, does anybody have any questions? Yeah, we actually do have some questions that have built up. Um, I oh, was God. Just in the interest of time. I'm nervous. <laughs> I didn't yes. want to interrupt you. Okay, um, no, so it's a good time to do it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so the first question was, what happens if the name or phrases in the nav becomes longer than one line? Um, there is a, I don't know. Um, so let's say you used a label that's really long. Um, you could get it. There is a, a function or a, a feature, I guess. Let's go back to see if you change these up. You can see, uh-huh. All right. And right over here, Let's we'll click out of there. And right over here, there is um, right down over here. Um, I think that was like wrapped to a different line or um, I forgot where it was. Show arrow. Maybe it's in style. Um, oh, I think I just saw it uh, before yeah. you collapsed. By the way, before, before I move on <laughs> any further, you can... Uh, this this is uh, you can change your spacing over here between the links with black spacing. It's kind of clunky, but you can do it. Um, and as far as the question about wrapping, uh, here, right? Yep, so this is the default like position, right? This is the default, and I I've never tried it. Like, what happens if I had a really long um, text link? I generally like to have, and most people do too, is have these as short as possible for. Um, for some obvious reasons, but um, okay. Any any other? There's something else. Yeah. Uh, do you know if uh, the sublinks are automatically navigable using the keyboard only or a screen reader? I don't know. Um, that good is question. a really good question. Yeah. Uh, wow. Um, let's have a look. Okay. So um, I'm going to just use the tab key. Okay. I'm just tabbing around. Let's just refresh. And let's just see if we can take a look at that. Yeah, it's up here. Yeah. Okay. No, nope, it didn't open it up. Um, did you see it didn't open up? So it doesn't look like it does. Let me just try one more time. And while I'm doing that, let's answer another question if I can. Sure. Okay. Um, next question was, can we edit links to display the resulting page in its new own new browser window? Um, is that question, can we open up a page in a new tab? Yeah. So can you edit the links in yeah. the nav? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here. here's how you okay. would do it. So real quick, if I was in home and let's say Right here, very good question. See, I like when people ask questions because then I realize, oh, I forgot to tell you. <laughs> so, so right over here, open a new tab, okay? And that would do it. Easy. Okay, yeah. 
you know, by the way, you can also do custom URLs. So, you know, you can just add a link. Let's say you wanted to add a link over here, type in a URL over here and then, and then save it. And you would automatically, you know, uh, yeah, let me just see if I got that right before I go any further with what I was about to say. Um, right. Navigation. Hold on a second. Um, yeah, you could do like a custom link over here, then type in the URL and it would, let's say to an external website or even to your own website, you could just, you know, you could do it that way too. That's called a custom URL. So all these different types of links, page links, post links, category links, uh, custom URLs, they're all, you could all, these are all link types that can fit within the navigation block. Okay. Take my word for it. This I know. <laughs> All right. Any any other questions? Uh, the last one is, um, what's the best way to edit the search option? I've found it e not. I've sorry. I've not found it easy to change it to make it look nice. Yeah, uh, that is a really good question, and there is no real easy answer. Except I think you might be able to do this better with. Well, let's. Um, let me just take a quickie look at that in 6.3, and it'll be definitely different. I'm 6.2. It'll definitely be different in 6.3. Um, colors. Uh, I don't know. I guess, let's see. Background. Uh, I just, I'm going to, I'm sort of guessing here. No. Yeah, that's just for the whole thing. No, I don't know the answer to that, but I do want to show how much time do we have? Because I want like a couple of minutes to show six three, if that's possible. Yeah, we're we're we've got all we're the at questions. The end? So uh, oh, let's do the questions. Okay, oh, five, we'll do no, the... we're done with the questions actually. Okay, so all right. We have, so um, about six minutes to the okay, hour. Okay, so oh, perfect. Okay, so let's take a quickie look at six three, which does not have what I would call breakthrough changes with some exceptions. Okay, so it's more of a refinement and a finishing up of phase two. Um, let's do here over here and WordPress 6.3 over here. Okay, so this one now is the same site using WordPress 6.3 beta three. So still kind of buggy. <laughs> so, And I hate buggy stuff because I say, why doesn't this work? But it's because it's beta, that's why. But if we go over here and you'll see right away some pretty major changes. So now instead of before in 6.2, we have two sections. We have template and template parts, no more. We still have templates, okay? But template parts now has been all busted up and changed. And you can see navigation now has its own section, okay? And if you click on that, you can start to create your own navigation. And let me just get something. Again, this UI stuff is just driving me nuts. Um, so with the navigation, let's go back here. Let me just see if I can remember. Yeah. Um, um, Right. So here is the big new thing that I was talking about. You can rename it, you can you can delete it, or you can delete and you can duplicate. Now, how would you start a new one? You would think there would be an easier way to do that. You just really start a new one. Or you really, I think the best way to do is just to duplicate and start and rename. Okay, so there isn't really a real nice way of starting something new. Like for example, by that, I mean, look at this over here. If I go over now to patterns, and this is where a lot of the template parts are going to be now in patterns, because they really are patterns. So for example, header, I can create a new header, or, or I can just click on this over here. And this will look familiar if you've been using the block editor, except it's now over here. So there's a lot of things in, in um, 6.3 that are like, oh, it's over here now <laughs> because there's a lot of reasons why it's evolved from 6.2 to 6.3. There is there is some rationale behind it, but you would just put in your name over here and you would just create a new header and you could create a new header this way. And then inside that new header, you could start a new navigation. Uh, 
And you can have different headers for different types of content for your site. So you don't have to have the same header throughout the entire site. But I already did that webinar. <laughs> um, uh, one thing that, as long as I'm just talking about 6.3, and I'm about to create a um, video for uh, InstaWP on what's going to, what, what are the, what's, what's new in WordPress 6.3. But one of the, I think, big highlights if there is such a thing and there is let's go over here real quick and i'll just show you that if we go over here to templates you'll see that um there's now a thing called pages uh, that's not right um where is it manage uh, i'm losing my no it's right over here i'm sorry it's Right over here, pages, not in templates, pages. So all of your pages will be listed here. And if you want to edit, let's say I created this page called contact. I can now edit the content of this page. This is not a template, but I can now edit the content right in here, rather than having to go out of the editor, the full site editor, and into the actual page. It's all going to be a what they call a unified editing experience or unified block experience or something like that. In other words, what we're used to having sort of a bifurcated approach to working with WordPress, that is, we have the site editor for design and we've got the, you know, the, the pages and posts over here for content. They are merging those two together. That is the big breakthrough in 6.3. And, you know, wow, <laughs> that should be really confusing. I'm still working my way through how that all works. Uh, any other questions? Because I do want to share one final thing before we go. Courtney, are we good? Yeah, we're good. Okay. So, oh, give them that link. <laughs> so yes. remember we had that link. So uh, do, 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 do. Um, here we go. So one last little piece over here, and we'll pick this up and we'll finish right now in a second or two. Just give me, yeah, yeah. let's just go through here and I've got this stuff to get out of the way. Right, okay, and we'll just go over here. All right, so where to find me, stop. <laughs> yes, I'm on Twitter, get this out of the way here. So I am Joy of WP because that's me, and please uh, follow me, and I will follow you, I promise. Um, and then um, I'm also on Slack, so you can meet me there and talk to me on Slack in the Make WordPress Workspace or in Post Status, one of the other, or both. And then um, finally, let's see. Oh, I'm just, so I just want to thank you for coming, but wait, there is a little more. So if you want to email me, you can see my email address, or you can take a screenshot or use your, uh, these are actual um, uh, QR codes. They actually work. So you can get your email address, and my email address, and my website into those two little codes there. And that is all I wrote. So, uh, uh, you know, I'm happy to answer any question now, or if you want to, um, email me and ask me a question. I'm usually pretty responsive. I'm very responsive. So um, I'll be happy to do that. Yeah, I know. Too responsive. <laughs> <laughs> too available. Yeah. Way too available. But uh, uh, I hope, you know, I know that was a bit of a whirlwind because there's a lot to pack in there. And, you know, don't get confused by this. Remember, the most confusing thing is that there's usually more than one way to do something okay that's you know and always keep in mind that all the stuff we're talking about fits inside of the navigation block it's just a block okay don't let it like oh it's so scary it's not really okay so courtney thank you and and thanks yeah. to the uh, learn wordpress folks too for letting me do this yeah thank you bud um and we don't have any other questions that came in so um, it looks like we're all set. But yeah, if you something comes up for you um, afterwards, 
definitely reach out to Bud um, at his contact info that we shared. Yep. Um, and if folks are interested in contributing to Learn WordPress as well, um, I'm also on the Make WordPress Slack. So um, you can find both of us there. Now, um, what, so one thing have... before we go, you did send out yeah. my link to my blog, right? Yes, I did. And, and if you subscribe, I promise I won't bug you with a million things, you know, like a million newsletters. <laughs> okay, I, I don't have time to send out a newsletter every day. I wish I did. Um, but, you know, once in a while, I talk about something that's new or upcoming or pay attention to mm -hmm. or whatever. So you'll find it pretty easy. All you have to do is go to any page in my blog and you'll get that annoying little pop up to, <laughs> you know, ask you to subscribe. To so, subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Well, we know where to find you. Yeah, um, you do. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So I'm not hiding. again, bud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for being here. Um, there's a lot of um, gratitude coming in, in the chat, but just uh, to Thank let you. you know, folks are thanking us Thank for, you guys. for this session. Thank you. Um, yeah. Thank you, everyone. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording.